A courtroom can be intimidating. It's big. It's formal. It's not very inviting. Testifying in court can be a frightening experience for anyone, let alone for a child or teenager who may need to discuss an uncomfortable situation. But it is a very important part of our legal process, and many times that testimony may be a key factor in the trial. I can't do it. Sure you can. I did. It's different for you. Why, because I'm a boy and you're a girl? No, it, it's just, what happened to me was- Exactly the same thing that happened to me. Look, I've had the same feelings you're having right now. You've heard me talk about it in group. It's scary. How do you know what I'm feeling? Because I've been there. I just want to move on with my life. I'm tired of everybody talking about it. Testifying is one way to get that guy off the streets. I don't care. Yes, you do. Testifying is an important part of our legal system. It's your chance to tell the court what happened. Come on, we're going on a little field trip. I'll have to see him. He'll be sitting in the courtroom. He can't get to you. He can't hurt you. They'll ask embarrassing questions. You just have to answer with the truth. If they ask a yes or no question, just answer with yes or no. Don't elaborate. What if they try to do something mean or act like it's my fault? What if they try to get me flustered? It's not like what you see on TV. The prosecutor's there to represent you. The defense attorney's there to make sure his client gets a fair trial but they might try to confuse you. It'll be scary. You'll never be alone. Remember that. A court advocate will be there with you the whole time. This is our stop. Let's go. Where are we going? To the courthouse. When you get to the trial next week, wear something nice, not too dressy, not too casual. Something appropriate for court. What are we doing here? We're just gonna walk around so you can see what it's like. In fact, your court advocate, Ms. Johnson, has agreed to meet us in the district attorney's office. This is like the airport. Security is a good thing. Make it easy on yourself and don't bring a lot of extra junk. We're going up to the third floor. Remember Mr. Devlin? He's the man from the DA's office that talked to me about the case. Right. We're going to go see him in his office. What's this for? In case I get hungry. It's this way. Hi, may I help you? Please, we have an appointment with Mr. Devlin. I'll check. Uh, come around, around this way and let me buzz you in. Hey, Michael, is that you? Yes, sir. You look a foot taller. How you been? Much better, thank you. Okay. Detective Head worked on my case. I'm Sandy Clark. Detective Head, are you here to testify in a case? Yes, she is. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Amy. Amy's been helping me get ready, but I'm a little nervous about it. It's not nearly as tough as you think it is. It's important for you to see this through until the end. That's what Michael says. Mm -hmm. Hi, Michael. Hi, Sandy. Looks like we've got a full house today. Sandy's a little nervous about testifying, so Michael called me and thought it'd be a good idea to have Sandy come down to see what going to court looks like. It's a good idea, very thoughtful. I know you're nervous, but your court advocate, Miss Amy, will be here the entire time. She'll never actually be alone. Will I have to sit in the courtroom while everybody else is testifying? I don't think I want to do that. No, actually, witnesses are not allowed in the courtroom when others are testifying. You'll be outside or in the witness waiting room until they call you in. Mr. Devlin, I just got a page to the 177th District Court on the O'Brien case. Eric, is it okay if we all go up together? I think that's a great idea. Detective Head is an investigator with the Child Abuse Division, just like the detective that worked your case. He's going up to the courtroom to testify on a case similar to yours. We can head up to the courtroom now, but just make sure you turn off all your cell phones and no talking while you're inside. And no candy bars. Hurry up, I'm holding the elevator. Will I have to 
to wait around a long time? Unfortunately, you'll have to wait around a long time because there's other people that are working on your case in the courtroom. But you can wait in the hallway or wait in the witness room where they have magazines. There's something else you need to be prepared for. It was hard for me. See all these people out here hanging out? They're all waiting to testify. On the day of your case, there could be a bunch of people out here waiting. Some could be witnesses for the defense side, and some could be on your side of the case. I don't want to see those people. It can be hard. On my case, my aunt was sitting out here. She had been telling everybody that I was making the whole thing up. So it was hard for me to see her sitting out here. She was sitting right there. She glared at me. And she was crying. Why was she crying? Because she knew it was a good chance her husband was going to jail. And he did. It's hard to see some of these people. You just have to know that what happened wasn't your fault. Tell the truth. The truth is the truth. Some may believe you and some might not. If they do, fine. If they don't, it's not your problem. It's their problem. Look, there's Mrs. Urban from the CAC. Hi, Sandy. What are you doing here today? I'm getting myself psyched to testify next week. Good for you. I may be seeing you here next Tammy week. Tammy Urban! That's me. Thank it's my turn. You see, there are a lot of people on your side. You won't be alone. Hi, Dr. Donnarumma. Are you testifying today? Yes, I just finished testifying a few moments ago. Will they ask me weird questions about my medical exam? I don't know if I can talk about that. Most of those questions will likely be for me, but you should be prepared to testify that you had a medical exam and be ready that some of those questions may be a little embarrassing. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Think about testifying this way. It's like putting together a big puzzle. The judge and the jury have never heard this case. Each witness brings a piece of the puzzle. There were a ton of witnesses in my case. So the jury had to sort out all the pieces when they deliberated. Cherise Martinez! Okay, let's go on it in. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that any testimony that you give in this cause now on trial be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. That oath is the witness's promise that the information given during her testimony will be the truth. Taking the oath is the first part of the process of testifying in court. To help you be more comfortable with the courtroom environment, we're going to take a moment to explain the activity that is going on during the trial. As you take your seat in the witness chair, you'll probably notice someone nearby typing into a machine that looks like a small typewriter. This is the court reporter, who makes the complete record of everything that happens during a trial. It is important for witnesses testifying to answer questions loudly and clearly. It is important to give verbal answers, not shrugs or nods. Next to the witness chair is the judge's bench. The judge is in charge of the courtroom. The judge runs the trial and makes certain all the rules are properly followed. Judges also make rulings during the course of the trial when either the defense attorney or the prosecutor makes any objections to any questions being asked. In the middle of the courtroom are the tables for the defense and the prosecution. This is the defense table. The defense attorney sits at this table. It is the job of the defense attorney to make certain the defendant gets a fair trial. The defense attorney attempts to create reasonable doubt in the jurors' minds in hopes of getting the defendant a not guilty verdict. And the prosecutor sits at the other table. It's the prosecutor's job to present the case for the state to present the evidence against the defendant. The prosecutor is also there to help protect witnesses like you from being harassed or badgered by the defense attorney. Most cases are tried before a jury. They are those people sitting together on the side in the area called the jury box. The people on the jury are supposed to be impartial. 
They don't know the participants from either side of the case. They listen carefully to all evidence presented by all of the witnesses called to testify. When the defense and prosecution both rest and give their closing statements, then the jury goes into another room to deliberate and discuss the case. It's their job to weigh all of the testimony and evidence. Then they decide if the evidence presented is enough to find the defendant guilty. Their decision is the verdict. Sometimes they find the defendant guilty. Sometimes they give a not guilty verdict. And sometimes they cannot agree and the jury is hung. That means there is no verdict and it's possible the case will be tried again. Sometimes there are people watching the trial seated behind the rail in the back of the courtroom. They may be people you know, but usually they are not involved in your case. Now that you've seen the courtroom up close, you should have a better understanding of what happens during the trial and who the people are in the courtroom. Testifying is a hard thing to do, and your participation in the process is definitely important for you and the community. We'll take a one-hour recess for lunch. We'll resume this afternoon. You may go ahead and step down. That was interesting. Not scary. <laughs> come on, let's beat the crowd out of here. Sandy, I hope you feel more prepared to come to court and testify. Remember, I'll be with you the whole time. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. I know she was nervous, but you couldn't tell. I think she was pretty calm, all things considered. Now you know what to expect. I'm glad we were there. OK. Now at the start, the bailiff, who is a police officer, called the witness into the courtroom to testify. Right. And the bailiff stays in the courtroom to ensure everyone's safety. And the judge did the swearing in, but it could have been a court clerk. It just depends on the judge's preference. Now, who is the lady sitting in front of the judge by the witness stand? She's the court reporter. She takes down everything that's being said. She makes a complete record of everything that happens during the trial. That's why it's important for the witness to speak loudly and clearly. OK, and the witness sits in a chair at the witness stand, and the judge is behind the bench right next to the witness. That's right and the bailiff stays nearby to make sure there's order in the court. And when that time comes, he goes and calls the next witness. The defense lawyer didn't seem so mean. I thought he was going to be mean, but he was just asking questions. That's right. He sits at the defense table. His job is to make sure the defendant gets a fair trial. He may try and make the jury have reasonable doubt about the evidence that's being presented. And the prosecutor sits at the other table. That's the person that presents my side of the case, right? That's Mr. Devlin. Right, Mr. Devlin will be sitting at the table during your trial. It's the prosecutor's job to present the case for the state to present the evidence against the defendant. The prosecutor is also there to protect witnesses like you from being badgered and harassed by the defense attorney. They will raise objections anytime it looks like the defense is going too far. That judge seemed nice too. Yeah, the judge is there to help you too when you're on the witness stand. He makes the rulings to the objections and he makes sure that only the relevant facts are being presented to the jury. And the jury. There are those people sitting together at the side. They all seem to be paying pretty close attention. They have to. After all, when the testimony part of the trial is over, when the defense and the prosecution both rest and give their final statements, the jury goes into another room to deliberate. It's their job to weigh all the testimony presented from all the witnesses. Then based on the testimony, they vote a new verdict. I was really scared about having to testify, but I don't think it's gonna be nearly as bad as I thought. Don't get me wrong, I'm still nervous. But I can do this. I never had any doubt. <laughs>